Well, today is planting day, so we waited long enough. We are behind. We need to get into the field. Luckily, I got all my tillage done. I got all the liming done the other day, so we can focus primarily on planting today. Let's get to it. All right, so we need to go get a good uh, seed tender. We don't have nothing to can handle our seeds, so I really don't feel like uh, filling up three different planters with uh, bags. That's going to break my back. So we are going to go pick that up quickly and fill it up. So that field over there is limed. We are just going to plant on top of the lime for that one these two fields I did work in so that field I plan on planting in with our new drill so that should be able to work in the line uh, that's going into soybeans over there so hopefully that'll track the deer nicely come fall so we need to get that filled up with lime and then this field over here is also going to be soybeans so we should have a pretty good uh, amount of soybeans for our pigs to eat next year and hopefully we have enough to sell also. Alright, we're going to pull in over here to Casey's. Looks like we have a uh, patrolman right there. Hopefully they aren't chasing them Duke boys. Need to fill our diesel tank up with uh, fuel there so we can fill up our uh, tractors. We'll get that started filling and we will run in here and get a nice pizza. It's a good thing about having a big old diesel tank. It definitely takes a lot to fill it up. Go pick up our new seed tender. Should have 130 gallons in there. So we have, my plan is to get all three planters running this afternoon. That's the plan anyways. We'll see if we can get it done. All right, so they hooked us up with a new Underfurf uh, seed tender here. So Underfurf makes some good equipment. Definitely some good uh, seed tenders and some grain carts. So I'm really excited about this thing. This should make our back feel a lot better after a long day of filling up the planter. So let's go to the co-op and get this thing filled up. Alright, so we are just pulling in over here. Gonna go into the farmer's co-op. Ooh, getting a little heavy there, so we are full, so I'll see you back at the farmyard. I forgot also, we got some grass seed in the back there, so our plan is to plant some grass over here on our big field. Some of that ground just really isn't fertile, really needs some... Uh, really doesn't have very good crop lands on it so my plan is to plant it in grass and that way we can at least get some decent crop off of it and have more our fertile ground planted into grain crops all right so we will park this right over here ready to uh, fill up the first uh, planter we got hooked up so the plan is uh, first I'm gonna hook up all three planters so I want to back this uh, disc up uh, pressure wash this off and then park it here for the spring so I don't think we're gonna need it again till come fall so it looks like this is gonna be a tight fit so last night when I got done with spreading and uh, uh, running the disc I was kind of tired it was late last night so I didn't park any of my equipment back in shame shame I know but we are gonna wash this off now. So pressure wash this disc off and then I plan on putting it in our shed. I'm hoping our uh, land all disc fits in there too. I'm not positive we can get it into that door or not. That will be a challenge. That's good now. Now we can uh, back this old girl up. Let's see guys get to see my backup skills here or non skills looks like we still need we still need to haul that dirt we have left over over there all right turn it in over there yeah we didn't do too shabby did we 
So my plan is to just park these in the back because we're not going to need them till fall. There we go. All right, now I'm going to unhook this. All right, now that's unhooked. Drive forward. So now we need to go get this. My plan is to put this on our drill, one of our drills. Let's see, where do we have that drill part? I think it's right here. Let's, we will open up this door quickly and see. Oh man, I left my door open. Whew, all right. Well, that's going to be a challenge. Can we get that drill in between our cowm? Open this up here. So hopefully I can just squeeze in here and get this drill out. Squeeze in. So looks like we can fit it fairly good. Barely got in there, that's for sure. All right, hook all the poses up now we're hooked up now the question is can we get through here whoo that's close so you guys probably want to update on this combine here so we the 1480 international I think I narrowed down the issue so the engine looks like it needs overhauled so that's going to be a chore for us to do so we hopefully after we get done planning we have some time the hydrostatic uh one of them needs resealed the other one's still good just needs more fluid in it and hopefully after all that the the rotor so everything else looked really good for the wear and tear for how old this combine is so I am pretty impressed. Hopefully, come uh, wheat harvest, we should be able to use this. Not positive, but we will try to get it ready by then. All right, so we will close that. Now, close this door. Jump over here in our planner and try to get it filled up. All right, so we just filled this up over there on our new sea tender so now that's full we'll shut this off because now we need to hook up our other planner that planner's already hooked up so I'm gonna get this old girl over here hopefully I can back this up into our uh, cold storage over there I need to back it up a little bit go swing it and then try to see if we can back this thing up in here ooh that's going to be nice and close if that fits under there or not we'll see ooh I think we will yeah that's nice the expensive uh, piece of equipment to leave outside, that's for sure. The only thing that's unfortunate, our new uh, drill, our John Deere 1990, we cannot fit under our current uh, doors we have. We need to hook this up to the corn planter. We have all of our planters. So basically, I'm hooking these the newer tractors up to the planters because I want the GPS uh, Usually you run your newer tractors on there. I'm not going to use our 5088 this year. Probably just use it for, I might use it for uh, hay. But other than that, it's going to be around the yard here for just cleaning up mowing and stuff like that. Kind of a chore tractor, if you want to say. Go in here. Open up this door. Now we gotta unhook this, hook up this planter, I mean. We should be ready to go. All right, so now we just need to fill up this planter and we should have the team ready to go into the field. So I think this John Deere makes a good match to this uh, 1990 planter here. So we will back up 
to our uh, seed tinder here and fill it up. All right, so we're going to park this over here by the shed. We're going to grease all the planters at once. And then we'll probably head out with the drill right at the first of it. And then I will uh, get a couple hired help to do the rest. I'm lowering this down so we can get around, kick the tires, make sure everything's greased up. Should be ready to grow. All right. So the tires are full, tires are aired up, tires are aired up. Checking all the actuators, uh, all the hoses on this air drill. Thing looks good. Already ran the vacuum, everything's running good. Uh, we got a seal. Here we go. So we're, we're gonna grease up all these this drill make sure it's set to uh, grass so definitely have to change the seed uh, linkage here so we don't we're not going to have a big as big as hole as what we usually have for this drill planting grass seed is really small all right so that's done we're going to check over this quickly everything looks good so far so all of our uh, planters are full. Uh, we did grease up this one prior to, so I wanted to grease up because that connection there, you need to have it well greased before you uh, unfold it. So now we will jump into the case there. Jumping into the case here and uh, start planting our uh, grass over here. Got to fold this up quickly. There we go. So we're going to head off over here. Got it set to grass. So basically we are going to be planting our big field. We're going to plant a lot of it to grass. I think a lot of this high land right here we're going to plant into grass. Just start in over here. This uh, case just, it sure does, sure is loud, just like our combine is. All right, so this is just our last little stretch. We're gonna plant in grass right here. So planting pretty good, pretty easily. So I'm pretty happy with that, so right after this we are going to swap this to wheat because that's the most important crop to get in right now all right so we're going to head back over here swap out our seed grass seed for wheat seed uh swap the planter over for planting wheat doesn't take too long with this drill just have to make a few changes and we will start planting wheat right over here by the farm all right, so all done with that. So we are just going to plant on this, our small field. So both of these small fields over here by our house and on our farm are going to be planted with wheat. Fold this out here quickly. It's like them center tires take a lot of the weight when they are unfolding like that. Start that planter up. Start heading around here. There we go. So we are planting now. First basic crop, really, of 2019. Would this be 2020? I think this would be 2020. So last year was 2019. This year's 2020. Definitely going to have more crop this year than last year, that's for sure. So primarily we are planting some wheat over here for straw. And also we need some uh, of the grain to feed our uh, pigs. We do have a lot of wheat left over from last year, so we don't need a lot. Primarily it's just for straw, for bedding, for breeding uh, barn and everything, so... 
going to do the outside pass and then get one of my uh, relatives to help me plant over here. We're going to get all three planters running in the field. All right, so we are going to pull this planter ahead. Plan is to get the corn planter started out there. I would like to get all three of my planters started. That is the plan. All right. I like how this thing turns. See how it turns all the way around? And then it locks into place. All right. So now the corn is going to go across the street over here. So we will start unfolding our planter over here. Going to do the first round of this uh, newly made field. Like how it folds out the wings like that. Or the markers, row markers. There we go. We are planting now. So we're running along here. We go a little bit closer. There we go. Making good time, that's for sure. Gonna do the first round of this field and then we are gonna turn it over. Got it going now. So we are planting at a fairly good pace. It's 11 mile an hour. So we got downforce and everything on this planter. So we have, we can make some good time. So we're heading around. So we are about halfway around this field already. Still have about 87 bushels in the planter. So I'm really happy. Both planters, we haven't had any real issues yet. So it always seems like the first day of planting, you just constantly break down. So we have no breakdown so far, knock on wood. We're headed over around by the church over here. So it's beautiful looking church they'll have some more uh, grass around their church for the kids to play in I'm sure they'll like that all right we're just doing one more in row right here and then we're gonna leave the hired hand or our cousin to uh, the up and down rows and the GPS driving so my other cousin had to take off, so we are finishing up planting this wheat, and then we'll rush over and plant with uh, soybeans quickly. I would like to get all three started today. So usually you plant wheat way before that, but we are way behind, so that's the reason why we are slow at wheat. I don't know how much wheat I'm going to put in because of that reason. Uh, really not putting a lot in right now so don't really need a lot so I might just plant this one field of wheat because we're so late I don't want to get a bad crop of wheat so mostly we'll have soybeans and corn so you can see out there way off in the distance our other cousin he's still running out there with that planter looks like he's doing good so I'm really happy that that works I mean, he is driving a brand new tractor and a fairly new planner, so it's not that hard. We just got a few more small little slivers. I guess we will be... We'll plant grass, wheat, and soybeans and corn today. Won't be done with planting, but we definitely planted a lot of crops. All right, so let's fold this up here. We will just take this back and park this into the shed. Don't need this anymore today. Beans, our other cousin, can't drive it anyways, so... I'm going to park this over in our cold storage here quickly. And then run over there and jump into our soybean drill
try to back this up nicely. Ooh, this is hard. Uh, not the easiest to back this up. That's for sure. Oh, will it fit in over there? Ah, uh, just barely. Just barely. All right, shut that off. Probably should have washed it up before we parked it in there, but oh well, it's in there now. We'll have to take it back out after we're done with the spring planting. So now, let's get this drill. Start this up here. Fold this old drill up. Forty-nine sixty, still running strong. So we're gonna run this over, and we're gonna plant this over the field by our tree stand. That right, will be a very productive day if we can get this all planted. That's for sure. Ooh, now the question is, will this planter fit through here? Yeah, that's tight. Take it nice and slow so we don't break anything off. Go unfold. Gonna have to back up so I can steer over there. Here we go. We don't know, we just recently picked this planter up. There, that's nicely. This planter does not have uh, indicator markers on it, so you definitely have to use GPS in this planter. I can just see the deer eating off this ground right now. I'm going to have some good size bucks, that's for sure. Definitely fatten them up prior to us shooting them. We're just gonna drill around over here. Obviously, we are just incorporating the lime while we're uh, drilling this, so because we're behind, we can't disc it in. So, come on, you can pull it up this hill, you can do it. This 4960 is about the perfect size for this. Uh, soybean drill here to the 1990 John Deere You're running about almost 250 horse in this it's a little bit chipped so tuned up a little bit more horsepower than it did when it came from the factory that's for sure all right, so we got the in rows all planted. We're going to go start the up and down rows over here. Shouldn't be too long. This field will be done. I think we'll actually beat our uh, corn planter. this around over here so we can finish our final pass there we go I think we got a few more slivers to uh, clean up over here all right now oh, I think I just have one little piece over here All right, so now we're gonna fold up over here. We're gonna go right across the trees there. We're gonna plant that field. I think 
So that will be it for today. That'll be all the planting. So the corn planter's still running. We planted grass, we planted wheat, and we also planted soybeans and corn. So we have had a busy, busy day. So I'm much relieved we got this much in today. We were way behind, especially we just planted wheat now. All right. We're going now, so we'll head around, do a few laps around this field. This field's a little bit bigger than the other field we just came from, but not too big. Looks like uh, our planter over there is getting pretty far. So you can see way off there in the distance. Our uh, piece of ground uh, right by our church that's getting planted in corn over there. So we're definitely going to have uh, three crops. We're also going to have some grassland, that's for sure. Starting our second lap around this field, and then we'll start our uh, up and down rows. So this field is definitely a little bit odd shaped, but kind of like this field we'll be able to keep a really close eye on it because we like live right beside it so hopefully we don't have no uh, children of the corn walking out or anything like that that'll spook us in the night maybe we can even make a corn maze out of this field right here be kind of entertaining we will have to see we're just planting up and down rows here on this. Don't have much left. Just got this little bit of piece right here. So I am going to be very happy once all this is done. Looks like our other planter over there finished up. Cousin took off, so I'll go and grab that tractor here in a little while and take it back to the farmyard. All right, so we are just finishing up this little itty bitty sliver. I'm gonna fold this thing up, take it back to our farmyard there. So I think, what does this make? We got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, really five fields planted today. That is a crazy. Did not think we were gonna get that much planted today. Fold this old girl up. Oh, it's folding up over here. So my other cousin took off, so we're going to have to go run over there and uh, finish up. I think she said she just has a sliver left. So it should just be one little sliver, but we're going to run this over to our farmyard quickly. We'll shut this off here. All right, now it looks like I'm going to have to run over to the planter. Oh, man. All right, we're just finishing up this little itty-bitty sliver, so she was just about done. Must have been something pretty important as she couldn't just finish this up. It's like maybe one more pass. Definitely loving this new uh, 8R, so... Definitely a huge advantage having this on the farm. Especially with this big 16 row planter we have here. Looks like this will be our last little sliver here. Not completely done with corn, but close. Looks like with everyone else way behind, we're probably going to have to help out Grant. Jake and Austin, that's for sure. We'll fold this up here quickly while we're watching this fold up. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.